I have questions in two particular areas. The first one um, will continue regarding unemployment insurance. So we know that the frustration that thousands of New Yorkers experience in reaching out to the Labor Department over the past couple of years. And as a result, they reach out to the legislative offices. And a number of my colleagues have expressed the same frustration and the timeliness of responses from Labor Department representatives when they're making calls on behalf of constituents. And I, I do know that some of it, of course, had to do with the filling of positions. And I'm just wondering if you're able to comment at all about prioritizing contact and communication to so legislative thank offices. Thank you for that question. And we are always you know, ready, willing, and able to assist our legislative uh, uh, colleagues on <laughs> issues and try to be as responsive as possible. Of course, you realize that that's the same these are the same people who are also handling the regular benefits uh, di distribution. That said, we are try we try to be on top of it as much as possible. One thing I want to point out here, which is different than any other time that I know of in unemployment. So during the pandemic, we set up six different programs, and PUA, Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, was one of them. And this involved over one and a half million New Yorkers who otherwise would never have been eligible for, for UI. They had no experience with the system, and um, and once their their benefits ended in September, if they hadn't gone off them before, all the federal benefits ended in September. Some of them began calling us again towards the end of the year because they were again unemployed and they wanted another benefit. We would explain to them they get a letter of determination and it said you are ineligible for this reason. What has happened? is a lot of people don't understand that UI is an insurance system. And in order to be eligible, you have to have earnings in at least five quarters, well, at least two quarters at a certain level to start a new claim. And there's a very high expectation out there that UI will be available regardless of your circumstance, regardless of your employment, whether you're an employee or not. And, that, and they don't seem to be able to understand that those systems have ended. Our unemployment level is now yeah. down to what it was before the pandemic, but our phone traffic is seven times as high as it was under normal unemployment. So there's a very difficult mismatch going on here. Well, understood and appreciate that. Uh, but, but of course it spills over a lot of the executive branch, the services, mm -hmm. the frustrations from the members of this public spill over to our offices. So we, we do appreciate the communication and you know, just you know, hold that uh, we can ensure that that communication with our offices on behalf of constituents is timely. Uh, the other area uh, has to do with workforce development. So in the allocation for workforce development, is any of those monies going towards workforce development in the area of e-commerce? So what I'm hearing from employers, uh, both, both mid-level and large employers, is that uh, they're trying to identify people uh, and the people are coming to them don't have the skills uh, that they need or they haven't developed the skills that they need in this in in this day and age with the internet e-commerce social media and things of that nature so a, a specific question is any of the monies designated for workforce development in that area of e-commerce uh, and then in a broad sense, have you recognized that? Is that something that you're going to be trying to do something about? You are singing my song. Thank you very much. Um, this is, we are very aware that technical skills, basic, basic computer use, literacy, software proficiency, uh, mechanical engineering skills, these are very high demands and many workers don't have them. So we are very focused on it. As I said earlier, I think we offer Coursera licenses for free to our UI customers, and they can actually get a great deal of that technical technical training online from Coursera. And I have a number of testimonials from UI customers who've taken the courses and are now in very good jobs. So we are very, very focused on that. We're talking today on Zoom, and we have to assume while we will begin to gather together as we used to, this will never go away. E-commerce will never go away. Our world is much more technical than it was even two years ago, and we need to ensure that our workforce has the skills that they need. 
So we are working very closely with schools, with BOCES, K through 12, SUNY and CUNY, with all of our business partners to ensure that we can give them, give the businesses the workers they need and give the workers the skills that they demand. It's, it's a very, very high demand and we are very excited to be able to roll out new programs. So thank you for asking me about that. It is top of the list. Now that's that's good to hear and just and perhaps a suggestion to the extent that you can uh, and you may have already done so if you can impress this upon the economic development councils because see, that seems to be a group of people across the state that could help out with this thank you for your time thank you thanks for asking that